The first and only debate for Florida's race for governor is set to happen tomorrow night. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis and Democratic candidate Charlie Crist are scheduled to debate again Monday in downtown Fort Pierce. West News Anika Hope continues our team coverage tonight with a look at how the candidates are working to fire up voters ahead of the big debate. After a stop in Orlando Saturday afternoon, Governor Ron DeSantis was back on the campaign trail Sunday night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. He spoke in Ball Harbor, a village in Miami-Dade County. The governor's key topic, a commitment to Florida's Jewish community. So we are not going to let the Jewish community be some pinata in Florida where people are feel free to attack. We're going to support. The governor also talked about his record in office, the parental rights in education, or as critics call it, the don't say gay law, and his promises to help families struggling with inflation. What we're going to do next year, we're going to do a permanent sales tax exclusion for all childhood items, not just diapers and wipes and clothes. As for Democratic candidate Charlie Crist, his running mate, Carla Hernandez, held a virtual rally Sunday night. You are part of that crucial piece, the critical group of folks that are going to not just only help us motivate people. On Friday, former President Barack Obama's endorsement of Charlie Crist went live on social media. Hey, Florida, we have a lot of work to do, and it starts with making Charlie Crist your next governor. Charlie has two things I admire, guts and decency. Crist also made a campaign stop in Orlando recently where he spoke at an event called Choice is the Choice, speaking alongside Representative Anna Escamani and Gen Z congressional candidate Maxwell Frost. But we have to fight for choice. You see, it's the number one on that list, all right? That's not a mistake. Chris and DeSantis are expected to debate only once Monday night in Fort Pierce. Anika Hope, West 2 News.